the 10 most iconic pieces in fashion history. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing the 10 most iconic pieces in fashion history. The history of fashion is filled with iconic pieces, but there are some items that changed fashion forever. These items change the way we dress and live, and their impact on fashion is still seen today. From jackets and dresses to handbags, I am sure you have at least one of those pieces in your closet. At the end of the video we have a bonus fact that may surprise you. So without further ado, here are the 10 most iconic pieces in fashion history. If you are new here, welcome, please subscribe and follow us on Instagram, at Luxficom. Number 10. Diane von Furstenberg Wrap Dress The now classic wrap dress was designed by Diane von Furstenberg in 1972 and catapulted the designer's career. It was a cultural phenomenon. Only four years after the launch, five million of this dress had sold worldwide. Vogue described it as a sartorial symbol of women's sexual liberation, and to say this dress changed the way women dress is an understatement. Today, almost 50 years after the wrap dress first appeared, it is a staple in women's wardrobe. It is a classic piece that transcends trends and style. Furstenberg explained to the Los Angeles Times in 1976, clothes have to reflect women's liberation. Women today want versatile, simple, classic, comfortable, slimming clothes. This is the story of my success. Number 9. Louboutin Heels There isn't a single fashion lover that would not recognize the iconic Louboutin red soles. Christian Louboutin opened his first store in Paris in 1992. The story goes that one day a prototype of a shoe inspired by Andy Warhol's flowers arrived at Louboutin's shop. Finding the design slightly dull and noticing the bright red nail polish his assistant was using at the time, Christian Louboutin took the polish and began to paint the boring black soles. And thus, the signature red bottom was born. His red sole shoes, handcrafted in Italy, were soon taken up by Hollywood actresses and Paris fashion establishment. His first actual customer was the Princess of Monaco. Now they are the most famous and recognizable shoes in the world. Number 8. Saint Laurent Tuxedo In his autumn-winter 1966 collection, Yves Saint Laurent introduced his most iconic piece, the tuxedo. This garment, which was meant to be worn in a smoky room to protect one's clothing from the smell of cigars, was originally reserved only for men. Saint Laurent's tuxedo, however, was not an exact copy of the men's tuxedo. He used the same codes but adapted it to the female body. He said, for a woman, the tuxedo is an indispensable garment, in which she will always feel in style, for it is a stylish garment and not a fashionable garment. Saint Laurent's tuxedo proved too ahead of its time and was initially stubbed by his haute couture clientele. Only one was sold. Paradoxically, the Saint Laurent Rive Gauche version was a success. The label's younger clientele was quick to purchase it, making the tuxedo a classic. Saint Laurent would go on to include it in each of his collections until 2002. Le Smoking, the sharply tailored all-black tuxedo, remains the signature style that defines Saint Laurent's impact on fashion. Number 7. Hermès Birkin The story of the invention of the Birkin bag, the result of the chance meeting in 1983 between actress Jane Birkin and Jean-Louis Dumas, then creative director of Hermès, has become legendary among Hermès lovers. The two were seated next to each other on an international flight. When Dumas asked why she traveled with a simple straw tote, Birkin explained that most leather bags were too structured for her taste. Birkin wanted something much more boho, according to Caitlin Donovan, handbag specialist at Christie's in New York. The two actually came up with the design for the bag on that flight, on the back of an air sickness bag, and so the Birkin was created. This is one of the most recognizable and iconic bags in the world, and it is a symbol of style and luxury. Number 6. Dior New Look In 1947, Christian Dior launched his first fashion collection for spring-summer. It was an instant success. 
the new collection went down in fashion history as the new look, after the editor-in-chief of Harper's Bazaar exclaimed, it is such a new look. The debut collection of Christian Dior is credited with having revived the fashion industry of France. Along with that, the new look brought back the spirit of haute couture in France, as it was considered glamorous and young-looking. The feminine looks contrasted with the post-war fashion of the time. With full skirts and the iconic hourglass shape of the bar jacket, the new look didn't please everyone. Coco Chanel said, Only a man who never was intimate with a woman could design something that uncomfortable. Like it or not, the new look marked the return of luxury and celebrated womanly proportions, in direct contrast to the revolution in fashion Chanel made a few years before, that was the masculinization of women's wear. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so we can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 5. Burberry Trench Coat Thomas Burberry first created the water and windproof fabric called Gabardine in 1879. Using this material, he would go on to design the first predecessor to the trench coat in 1912. During the First World War, soldiers would wear this coat while in trenches across Europe, which gave this coat its iconic name. After the war, the trench coat transformed into a fashion statement, for men and women alike, thanks to movie stars who wore the stylish coat on film. Today, the Burberry trench coat is worn by men and women all over the world. This coat has been around for a hundred years, and it is not going away anytime soon. Its practicality and style has forever changed the way coats are made. Number 4. Chanel 255 Bag In 1955, Coco Chanel created the famous 255 bag, the first shoulder bag ever designed. A quilted bag with a gold chain that allowed women's hands to be free by carrying the bag on your shoulder. The name 255 comes from the date of its creation, February of 1955. Its thoughtful design was truly for the modern woman on the go. The space in between the two internal pockets is designed to hold a single lipstick, and the back outside pocket is designed to securely hold money without opening the bag. History tells us that when she was designing this bag, Coco Chanel was having an illicit affair with a married man, so she designed the zippered inner pocket so she could hide love letters in there. This bag is to this date one of the most classic, iconic handbags ever, and it served as inspiration for some of the most popular bags today. It's that kind of bag that will never go out of style. Number 3. Chanel Suit Inspired by the super jet suit, Coco Chanel designed the first truly female suit in the modern sense. Chanel first introduced the suit in her collection in 1923, but it did not impress her clients or the media. After World War II, she tried once again, in tweed, and this time it was a huge success. Unlike the ones who came before, the Chanel suit was glamorous and feminine. An article of clothing previously only worn by men now had a luxurious and unique version for women. The Chanel suit is a classic and was the inspiration for many clothing items we wear today. It was also during this time that Coco Chanel popularized pants for women, through her iconic yachting pants. These pieces began blurring the lines between women and men's clothing. Number 2. Chanel Little Black Dress Women used to wear black only while mourning. It was considered distasteful to wear it in any other occasion. Until the 1920s, when Coco Chanel created the famous little black dress. She said, these women, I'm bloody well going to dress them in black. And so she did. In 1926, Vogue published a sketch of the Chanel design, although very conservative by today's standards, at the time it was scandalous. The design by Coco Chanel was dubbed Chanel's Ford, referring to the Ford Model T, because, like the famous car, it was accessible to people of all social classes. But the moment when the LBD truly became a staple was when Audrey Hepburn wore it in the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's. It skyrocketed in popularity. Today, the little black dress is an essential piece in every wardrobe. Number 1. Levi's 501 
Jeans are the most universal pieces of clothing. Everyone has a pair. It transcends class, gender, and race. And it all started with Levi's 501. The jeans were created in 1853, when Levi Strauss founded a wholesale business in San Francisco. At that time, the 501 series were used only by Western workers, miners, and cowboys. It was made of canvas, which was much more durable than common pants. Years later, the canvas was replaced by denim, which was a sturdy cotton textile that was made to last longer than the canvas. Between the 1950s and 1980s, Levi's jeans became popular among a wide range of youth subcultures, including greasers, mods, rockers, and hippies. From the early 1960s through the mid-1970s, Levi Strauss experienced significant growth in its business, as the more casual looks of the 60s and 70s ushered in the blue jeans craze and served as a catalyst for the brand. Since then, jeans has never got a style, and it never will. This is definitely a piece of clothing that changed the way people dress forever. Let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And for sticking with us this far, here is some bonus information. Chanel started as a hat boutique. In 1910, Coco Chanel opened a hat boutique at 21 Rue Cambon in Paris, under the name Chanel Modes. Her hats were worn by well-known French actresses and helped build her reputation. A few years later, in 1912, she opened her first boutique in Delville and began to sell a line of sportswear made of jersey, a material that at that point was only used to make men's underwear. This approach revolutionized fashion and women's relationship with their bodies. It was an instant success. She was the first designer to create clothes that were both stylish and comfortable. Thank you for spending some time with us, and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, I'll provide you with the best content about fashion, travel, and luxury living. See you soon!